Hello. Hi everybody. I'm sorry I'm setting up right now. Um this I've been wanting to, I have a few videos on YouTube, but I see the live streaming thing. <clears throat> this is my first time live streaming. I'm trying to get into the habit of going live, being in front of the camera, put out more videos. So I please, please guys, be nice to me because I really don't know what I'm doing. I've been scared for years, but I'm like, I have to get over this fear. I'm going to do it. Um, so just to introduce myself. I am stylist Fallon Billups, um, owner and only stylist in my private hair studio, Dream Weave Hair Gallery. So today, what I'm going to do is just show you guys some things and things that I use when I'm, um, bleaching closures frontals 360s um bleaching hair whatever i do but i wanted to just give you guys you know some quick tips on how to spread your bleach so that you can use a little bit less powder lightener so you can get more out of it as well as the things that i use when i'm doing it to help make it easier for me especially as a hairstylist when you're doing a lot of coloring, you want to be comfortable doing the stuff for hours. At least I do. I like to be as comfortable as possible. So, <clears throat> the first thing I want to show you guys is right here. This thing right here, this I got from Ikea. It is awesome. I love it because it comes up to my waist. Before, I was using another little plastic table from Walmart, and it was like way down here. So, I was bending over, killing my back. Um, the thing I like about this is that the longest hair in inches that I sell is 30 inches. So I went to Ikea and I found this tabletop that is 30 inches long. So if I color hair is 30 inches, it's not hanging over the edge when I'm trying to color it. I can color it comfortably. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. And this was very inexpensive. This big old table, I think was like $29.00. I'll try to find links and put this stuff in the box down below if you guys are interested in this. I just, like I said, like to make things uber easy for myself. And then I thought about, you know, when I color, doing color all the time, I want easy cleanup. This is a shower curtain. It's just one of the thick plastic shower curtains. I got it at Walmart for like seven bucks. So when I'm done doing color, this big old thing, I don't have to waste plastic. I don't have to tear up garbage bags. I take this thing off and I put it in the washer. And then I lay it out over top of my dryer so that it's dry. And the other thing I like about this, these legs down here, these are adjustable legs. So if you're tall, I'm short. I'm only five foot and a half inch. So I adjusted this up to about my waist so I can stand here and comfortably color hair, bleach knots, do whatever I do. So um, these these um feet right here i got from ikea as well if you guys are interested in you know me putting the stuff down in the description bar i can do that for you <clears throat> and these legs i think were like 15 dollars a piece totally worth it because they adjust so if you're taller than me when i initially set this thing up i didn't realize how tall these legs are this thing came up to here so if you're six feet tall you can still adjust this so it's comfortable for coloring for hours I'm sure, you know, there's lots of people out here who have plenty of different ways they color it, but all I'm doing is sharing with you guys what I do, what makes it easier for me. Um, <clears throat> and it really has helped me to be comfortable because to be honest with you, I offer these services because I want my install, because I specialize in, in sewing weave. So I want my installs to look as authentic as possible, or as realistic as possible. I really hate doing these services, but I want to, if I'm going to do it, I want to be comfortable doing it. So that is the reason why, um, <clears throat> I chose to, you buy the, invest in these things so that I can do it easier. Um, and then you guys see this little unit back here. 
Um, this is convenient because I sit the table right in front of it and then this unit here. Ikea is the bomb, guys. I, I got this from Ikea. All of these little things. As a stylist, I don't want all my clients walking in seeing all of my products, everything I use. So guess what? Right here, this drawer. If you look inside, this is where I keep my developers to my color. So everything is organized. I have the developer to my color. I have this got to be glue, which I use for other things besides gluing down the lace closures. I use this while coloring too, if you guys are interested in um, finding out about that. Comment below and I will tell you what the secret when I use this for too. Um, <clears throat> up here, this is where I keep my color because again i'm or i'm not like the neatest i mean the cleanest person but i like for everything to have a place so i can find it easily so all my color goes in here when i'm so i'm not searching all around where's my colors and that i got these boxes from ikea as well um so that i uh have everything in one place guys one place so, um, I know there are 50,000 videos out here that show you guys how to bleach knots, but I thought one more wouldn't hurt. So I'm going to give you my tips. Me personally, um, I'm a business person as well as a stylist. So I like to get the maximum possible use I can out of anything. So I've tried to come up with the best way to um, bleach knots and closures and use the least amount of powder. So I'm going to show you guys what I have discovered just from my experience that helps me to spread it. Because like, for example, I see a lot of videos where people are like, I need two, three, four scoops to do a front. I'm like, really? Because I use one. I, I try to use one, maybe one and a half scoops. Or whatever so it, it also depends on the bleach you use I usually like to use guy tang's line um I recently did a class on um frontal like glue down and I see I know everybody uses this powder the b2w powder so I was like you know what let me let me give it a chance it's a little bit less expensive because the guy tang powder is about 40 bucks for one however it is a purple powder so, and then it does spread really well. But anyways, so I tried to see if I could do the same thing with this. Because like with the closure, with the guy tank powder, about a half a scoop, I can do an entire closure. But I'm going to show you some other tricks to that as well. So number one, the first trick is I do not use a brush to put my lightener on the closure. The reason why, because a lot of the lightener ends up in the actual um bristles of the um the brush as opposed to this this is like a spatula you can get a cake batter spatula the one thing when you're using lightener though make sure it's a plastic spatula don't get metal when using bleach because that actually there causes a chemical reaction and can really mess this up but this right here is a color spatula you can get cake batter spatulas that are like this this has helped me to spread lightener on and save on the lightener so much. So, we're going to see, like I said, with the Guy Tang lightener, which is what I usually use. It's a lot more expensive, though. It's $40. But this one, I got this big old tub for like 20, $29 plus tax. Here, I'm in Tampa, Florida. I'm going to try to see if I can do this with maybe about a half a scoop uh, i just started using this kind so we're gonna see with about a half a scoop if we can pull it off so also some other tips to know is you know when you find a lightener that works stick with it the reason why is because number one processing time changes um the amount you have to use changes the amount of money as a stylist i try to budget as best i can try to spend you know the same amount each week or whatever if you want to budget spending using the same light products over and over again you're going to get a more consistent um 
result number one because you're used to using that product you number two you can budget you can allocate your time because with the guy saying i know that you know i can put it on there in 25 20 minutes it's good whereas some other liner may take longer or less time and you're trying to figure it out so for me i generally stick with what i start with um but i figured i would just give this a try because i took the class so let's see i'm gonna go back into one of my drawers which this is the reason why i love this so much because i can hide it and it still is a beautiful let me move back here see this it's still a beautiful unit and it matches the decor of the rest of the room which is what i love i love unity and everything going together and flow and and then i also hate to walk in and just see so much stuff everywhere so this way you know with the stuff here um it's organized i can find it i know what's in where i should probably label these though i'm accustomed to it right now because i don't have a ton of stuff in here but you know this is just another idea for you guys i by the way i do have a home studio so i work from home but when I color, I use regular foil. You can get some cheap foil, whatever. I use regular foil. And when I'm doing a lace closure, which is what I'm showing you guys today, I started with this one first just because, like I said, I haven't really gone live. I haven't done a ton of videos. I have some. I'm not all that comfortable. I'm trying to get comfortable with it. So I figured I'd start with something e relatively easy to get myself comfortable with going into the video. So... If you guys have tips, please be nice because I'm sensitive. But if you have tips and suggestions and anything, I'm open to learning um, and hearing your tips. So we're just doing your regular um, lightener. I did a, a half a scoop. Like I said, I'm trying to save you guys on the powder. You don't need one, two, three scoops to do a lace closure. I have a half a scoop in here and... You know, you've seen this a million times, I'm sure, but I'm just showing you. Like I said, I believe the, the trick is this spatula. The key is this spatula because you don't get anything stuck in it. You know, you get to use all the products. And then the way I spread it on, I'll show you how I spread it as well. Hold on, excuse me one second. I got to get my charger. Where can I charge this up? Ah, this is far away, guys. Sorry, I'm going to have to rotate this, this thing. For a second, I'm trying to get this whole video. I know this is terrible first video look at me got y'all sitting here wait rotate device okay I guess it doesn't like it this way so we rotate it back and we'll tilt this down. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Like I said, I got to get used to doing this here. Oh yeah. That's another thing. I can move this table so easy. It's awesome. All right. Of course your mixture is important. You know, the thickness. 
for this i don't use a measuring cup of course you just pour in and keep mixing until you get the perfect consistency i'm gonna let y'all see this right here is clumpy super thick that's too thick when it's too thick it doesn't spread easily <clears throat> So, but before I add um, any more developer, which I'm using a 30 volume. Also too, take into consideration the volume of your developer um, will also play a part in how long it needs to be on there. The stronger the developer is, the, I mean the higher the volume of the developer, the shorter period of time it probably has to sit. You have to take into consideration the quality of the hair. You know, this is the hair that I sell. This is my um, Peruvian loose wave. So I know the quality of mine. So I know, you know, with the other lightener, how much it, how long it takes. But this powder lightener is newer to me. So, of course, you got your door rich eggplant. Just putting one, one drop of that in here because it's a little bit of lightener. Um, if I had more lightener, I would do more. I mean, if, yeah, I was using more scoops, like for a frontal or something, I would do more. So now that this is in here mixed up, cause we don't, here's the thing. You don't, even as a consumer, if you're doing this, you do not want to be rinsing a bunch of lightener down the drain because it's not cheap at all. So now here's the thickness of this. See, it's turned over and it's not coming off. I can do this it's not coming out that's typical you know this is stuff you see on every other video video um but the way i spread it is a little bit different number one what i've noticed is that the hair at the front of the closure tends to lighten faster so then that's where you know a lot of your seepage and stuff ends up happening so First things first, I'm gonna spray the front of it with a little bit of water. Why? Because you don't want the little baby hairs to get caught in any bleach that comes up here. Those little extra hairs, you wanna use the, you wanna use the water to get, to control those hairs, bring them back like this. So that they don't end up getting colored accidentally. Because I tell you what, correcting these things it's possible, but it is definitely a task. You don't want to do that. So spray it with just a little bit of water. It won't affect it. So I'm gonna pull this here so you can see. Now when I, so again, like I said, in order for me to be able to use just this half a scoop, you see that little bit that's in there? I probably could figure out a way to use a little less. But again, this lightener is new to me. Um so what I do is I start at the back of the closure and turn it to the side. You want to start at the back of the closure and start this way. And you want to ever so gently spread like a cake. Spread it like you're doing a cake. Across this way. And even as a stylist, I do this all the time. You see, I still got some on there. And if you get some on there, it's okay. You can spray it, wipe it off. But I did, I started at the back and smoothed across. Now, start from the other side. I still have some on here. So I'm still using that same amount that's on here. And I'm barely tapping this to spread this across, barely. I mean, you do not want to press at all. But look at that. Almost half the closure is done. So I definitely, you know, I just use a little bit of more in here because this powder is new. But next time, I can use even less than half a scoop to do this because I know I'm going to be have some left over. So now I'm going up to the next section and so, so lightly. Spreading that across, not pushing at all. 
This is why using a spatula is so much better because you get more use out of your product. When you use those brushes, a lot of that color gets caught up in there and that's money going down the drain, people. So now I'm using that, this that's already down and I'm spreading that upward, that product upward. This is how you save money on doing this. I'm spreading that product upward. Now I'm using a little bit more and spreading it upward. And back here where it's a little bit thicker, I'm just spreading that product upward, spreading it up, pulling it up. And in the front, I like to go past where the hair, the hairline stops. I like to go past that. And the reason being is so that any little hairs that are up there I can catch them. Make sure everything is colored. Everything. So now this little bit that got on the hair, take a little bit of water, spray that. And that should be sufficient to keep it from, cause water, with the water, it won't let it process. So if you get some of the color on the hair, don't worry about it, just spray it with the water. Now the other thing that I do is I take it like this and that's why I have the foil because the foil helps the heat to process and I put it on the foil lay it down nice and flat like that and then you want to go in and just pull make sure your hairs are pulled up so that they're not touching because again over bleaching is not fun And then I am going to set my timer. I'm going to set my timer. Usually I do 20 minutes with this lightener. I'm going to do 15 because I don't know how quick this really lightens because I don't usually use it. But that's another thing. People just sit down. Definitely put a timer on, guys. Because what I've learned as a stylist over time is that we think we know time I mean, I have some clients who sit in my chair and be like, I feel like I've been here hours. And I'll be like, you've only been here for 30 minutes because our perception of time is not always 100% accurate. So you may be like, oh, it's only been on for 10 minutes when it's actually been on for 30 and then you've over-processed it. And that's when it starts to lighten up too far into the hair and you get those nasty gold brassy tones. So um, that's why I always set a timer. When I do color, I set a timer. When I do color and I mix my color, I use a measuring cup. The reason why I use a measuring cup is because, again, some I use professional color and professional products that are expensive. I don't want to just be pouring an excess amount, number one. It, the, when you do that, sometimes the, the color won't last as long. It fades quicker. They make these formulas for a reason. I know there are people out there that do color and stuff like that all the time. I do color, I'm not a color specialist, but I prefer to actually measure, weigh things out, use the appropriate amount of stuff, number one, because I don't want to waste product. I don't want to have way too much left over and I'm rinsing down the drain. I did that, I used a half a scoop and look how much is just left over. I could do a whole, an entirely second closure with this that I have in here. You see that? And so if you're us, you know, if you're doing this at home yourself, and you know you wear weave and you want to use it over and over again. This is just a waste of money. So that's why I've tried to come up with methods that will help me to spread my money. You know. Um, and I noticed one person's watching. I don't know exactly how to use this. If you have any questions and you want to put your questions down in the bottom. I can answer while I'm waiting or I can end the video now. It's up to you. You're more than welcome to ask me a question if you have any questions. Um, again, since this is my first time really going live on here, uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, I'm going to try to do, I'm going to start out with easy stuff that I'm comfortable with just to get me comfortable with being in front of the camera. But if you guys have specific stuff you would like to see that I'm comfortable with um, doing, I am, 
I would love to, you know, do the videos for you. Um, and in case anybody wants to know, the reason for putting this purple in here is because purple cancels out red and gold tones. So putting a little bit of purple in here is supposed to help cancel out um, or minimize some of the gold and brassy roots when I lift this. Um, so that was the reason for that. And just so you know, this again, I am a distributor. I can put the link to my hair down in the bottom because I sell hair. I am a Maven hair distributor. This hair right here is my um, Peruvian loose wave, which is my personal favorite. And this is, I'll be coloring this bundle next. Um, thank you for, I didn't see. What was the question? Is that purple hair color? Yes. It is by a door. It's, um, this is a semi-permanent hair color. And you can get this at the store. I paid $4.99 for this. And I just put, because I only used the half a scoop, I just put like one drop of it in there to just to minimize um, some of that brassy pigment. Again, doing these, this, <clears throat> doing this step i've seen other people do it i just took a class two days ago and this is what he used and he does frontals all the time i personally have been using guy tang's lightener it's from his new line it is a professional product so if you're not a licensed stylist you won't be able to purchase it yourself you'd have to have someone purchase it for you but um i like that better i'm trying this out to see how i like it um do you find that better on how do i see the questions again okay do you find that's better on using blue bleach and developer? Uh, again, that, see, that's the thing. Like I said, the, the, the developer that I was using before was Guy Tang's developer. And it was a purple developer. And I did like, I liked it a lot because it spread. It really spread and I could use very little bit of it and do a full frontal and everything. This method is new to me. I took a class two days ago. This is what he uses. He does them all the time. And I was like, hey, it's a little bit less expensive. I'll try it out and I'll see, you know, what, how I like it. So then you, okay. The, yeah, the blue bleach and the purple developer, um, blue is going to cancel out other tones. Blue is good for when you start with really, really dark and you want to cancel out some tones when you're lifting and going up levels the purple is good because you want to eliminate the brassiness and the gold tone so purple eliminates reds and oranges blue gets you through your first base I don't know how familiar you are with levels from like one to two and again I'm not a color specialist so that's not my forte per se I do know that the purple the the guy tang um, lightener that I was using was a purple base and it was awesome so, um, but this I've seen all kind of YouTubers use the class that I took, he used it. So I was like, you know what? I'll give it a try and see. It's a little bit less expensive for me, especially since I said, since I do a lot of lace closures and frontals and bleaching and bleaching hair. So yeah, but, um, so I guess for now that's it. And, um, I will make another video probably I'll try to do you know at least like one a week um <clears throat> we basically use the same method with the spatula but thanks for the tip on the purple color okay cool I'm glad you use the spatula because to me it saved a lot I mean can you are you able to do a closure with um, a half a scoop or how many scoops do you use when when you use your closures? Even on a frontal, I found that I can do an entire frontal bleaching with one scoop. I've seen so many people like, I need two or three scoops. I'm like, why are you using two or three scoops of bleach? Can you do your whole one? The spatula is awesome. I gotta get some more. I only have this one and I when I lose it, I lose my mind. I lose my mind. Sounds good, we basically. Okay, well that's cool that you're using one because I'm sure you've seen a million videos where people are like, I need two or three scoops. I'm like, why? 
Why are you using that much lightener on one frontal? That's crazy. But the spatula, do you agree that the spatula makes the difference? Because when I was using brushes, I, number one, it's, it's harder to be delicate and light on there so it doesn't seep through. But then you lose so much more of the lightener in the brush. So, but what do you think? Do you use a tape? I don't know if you're, you know, are you a company? Are you a stylist? What do you think about this table? Because I, I was using an ironing board. Then I got, then I had a plastic table from Walmart. I mean, just all kind of. And finally, because I, I have this, this same table in a smaller inch for my station that I use. And I love the, the feet. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get a big one. So when I color the bundles, I can have the full one out. And it's perfect. And I use, which is high, I try to cut costs wherever I can. Okay. I haven't heard of that brand, but that's cool. You'll have to, um, you know, maybe send me a video or something showing me about that. Use a card table. Is it big enough? Does it, and how about the height? Like, I like this one because I was using a table, but it was, it was lower than this, and it was killing my back, spreading out for hours, coloring that hair, bending over that low. So I like this table because these legs adjust up and down. So I can adjust this up to here if I want to, so I don't have to bend over at all. I can adjust it down some more or in between, so I'm not like bending over because I don't like sitting down. It's uncomfortable for me to try to color sitting down. And then also too, like when I do my color, I spread, when I do my bundles, I spread the whole thing out so I can do one bundle all the way down. I know card tables are a little smaller, so you gotta either fold it, a few times with this I can just unravel the entire bundle and lay it out that way I don't have to open it up 10 times you know I'm lazy too believe me I don't want to open it up I may if it's a you know like 12 or 14 inch I have to fold it once so then I put all the color and then flip it one time whereas you know when the table's shorter you gotta fold it four or five times and flip it I hate that I absolutely hate that so um that's why I love this because I get the full 30 inches if I have a 30 inch bundle and then I get the full length of a bundle if I have longer bundles. Yeah, I got this from, from Ikea and this is it's 30 inches and 56 inches wide. So like if you look at this, when I open this bundle up and lay it out, I don't have to fold it a million times. Like I can open, this is a 12 inch bundle. So, you know, 12 inch bundles are pretty long. Um, if I did a 20 inch, I could lay it all the way out. But with this, I can lay it all the way out like that and have space. Or if I don't want to flip it a million times, open it all the way up and lay it across. And I just go down and I'm done pretty quick. Especially when it comes to trying to do highlights you trying to do highlights on um on here and you got to do every other space i don't it's, it's it gets difficult when you got to try to flip it when you're trying to do highlights in the hair and ombre and all that so i wanted something that'd be quick and like the least amount of mess i hate having to flip it and open it and flip it Ugh, it gets messy and i hate like a bunch of mess so that's why for a long time i wouldn't do like glued lace frontal installations because i hate the glue that stickiness of it all over my hands so that's why but i mean i'll try to find this table and put it down below i don't know how this works with live streaming if you can still put the same stuff in there uh it's new to me doing this so if i can i'll put it down there the links if i can find this particular table in these legs because i think i spent all together on this table like 60 bucks oh yay i got a style i got another friend i'm so excited yes please subscribe if you let me know who you are i'll subscribe back watch some of your videos if you have some that'll be awesome enjoy your client bye
Well, if anyone else has any questions before I sign off, because this has a couple more minutes, I'm going to wash it out, still put a little more purple shampoo on it, and um, yeah, that'll be the end of that. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Please, no negative comments. I understand we all have our opinions, but, you know, they say if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Um, I am down for constructive criticism, but um, I enjoyed my first little live stream session. I hope you did too. Please subscribe if you are interested in um, finding out any more tips. Entangled Ninja's Hair Salon. I don't really have much on there, but I already follow you. Oh, name's Lakeisha. Hi, Lakeisha. Okay, cool. Well, if I can find you, I'll follow you too. Thank you so much for watching and sharing. And I love to see your braids out when you finish. Anybody else have any questions? Look at this stuff. It's supposed to be purple. It turned pink. See, that's why. That's that, that type of stuff is a little bit... Scary, you know, I don't know, but um, yeah, if you guys want to see, you know, any of my installations and stuff, because with this, I do a, a single part and I do a multi part installation, so there's a lot of little tips that I can share with you guys. If you're interested, comment below. But now it's time for me to go have a peace, love, blessings. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and don't forget to hit that notification button so when I'm live I don't know I think that's how it works I don't know if when I'm live if you the notifications let you know or whatever but that was the bell so see ya